Yo guys, what's up? What's poppin'? This is The Real Talk with Landed. And I'm your girl, Chica. You know how we do. And with me is my party. So Chica, <laughs> my name is Anthony. And uh, welcome to today's yes. episode of The Real Talk. So on The Real, you know, we talk about everything that has to do with the real estate industry. As yeah, we right. know, it's back home here. And everything in between. So yeah, like, right. everything that, you know, just really is worthy of talk is you know and we keep it live we keep it real here on the real talk so you know Andy, what's, what's popping today you know it's great that um we set up a show like this for yeah. me the goal for this kind of show is to you know enlighten people you know Absolutely. give some give people something beyond just the four blocks of or the four walls of a property you yeah. know and it makes it helps them it gives them some kind of um um puts them in some kind of um, an informed place where yeah. they would make very informed decisions Absolutely. when buying a property so um chica today i'm thinking let's do something um you know we've had um lagos or nigeria in general of um in, in the past one two three weeks mm -hmm. we've seen um several um series of protests and things like that mm -hmm. So I think it would make sense to at least just pay condolence to um, those who lost their life during the struggle. Absolutely. And um, one thing that stuck out for me then was the vandalization that happened. Mm. Properties when got bombed. It was, it was it was it was it was catastrophic. Like mm. it was crazy, man. Properties got burnt. You know, houses got burnt. Businesses got um, destroyed and ground. things like that. You know. So um, I think. I'd like for us to dedicate this episode to mm. talking about something that is so vital and important and um, that, that, that I learned or that struck me from those series of protests right. and how it relates to real estate. And okay. I, and I'm sure insurance. you know you know what I mean. Insurance. Yes, that's insurance. So today yeah. we'll be talking about insurance. Just like he said, you know, it's really sad. If you took time out to go at the at the at the peak of you know the vandalization, if you had gone through places like Aja, Lekki, okay. Admiralty, it was absolutely horrendous, heartbreaking it to was see horrible. the loss and devastation that I you agree know, with happened you. in those parts. It was and horrible. To a large extent, that's the reason why we are what we're saying it's important to have this conversation surrounding insurance insurance is the one thing that everybody everybody knows is of value it's important but somehow but nobody to wants the, to <laughs> when it gets to the nitty-gritty of it how many people actually take out an very insurance few. policy on the things that are very um, valuable to them, to them so today we're talking few. home and property insurance be it where you live be it um, your place of where business work. why is it absolutely important you know that you have you know an insurance policy on a property or on your home why would you the biggest reason what would you say is the biggest reason for you when it comes to insurance for me yeah for me or property that you own own right for me it's just um for the um unforeseen or mm. things that you don't envisage mm. you know let's say the hand of god and let's if we, if we try to bring that home to nigeria normally i would want to say i'll take out um, an insurance policy on my home for things like an earthquake mm. um a hurricane or things like that but this um vandalization that happened recently in lagos i think even human induced things can right. you know it's some very big reason that you should go out there and get an insurance for you because you don't see these things coming Absolutely. you don't have nobody goes to build a house and say oh um Nobody would destroy my house or nobody sees this thing coming. It also, just happened. Lagos is a city where every now and then we get stories about building collapses. Yeah, right. Things that are coming to the ground for some structural foundation or integrity Default, issue. And yeah. so I think it's also very important. So I was recently read, reading through and I saw a statistic that said that about 95, this is a 2017 statistic. So I'm sure okay. the numbers have changed right now. All right. But it says as far back as in 2017, about 95% of buildings in Lagos did not have so every now and then that's we crazy see, you know how lagos is exploding with new properties, new properties every new day. developments but you know it would it will shock you to know that quite a number a huge significant number of those buildings a majority do not have don't an have an insurance insurance policy and so don't have. i think this brings it to the fore the recent happenings just being alive and you not knowing you don't know what it next? could be anything literally literally you, know, you don't know what could happen in the next minute trust so me we know how capital intensive it is property to own a property is. in lagos that's that's Especially huge. if you're in this axis of that's lagos it. if you're on the this island new lagos ah, you're on the island you, you know how much it costs to get a property that's 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 something get so a property huge. get the paperwork done, done get it all sorted like be on the good side of the books when and and you know these guys are going to destroy that property it's not just the um, um the four walls of a house you right. have um, um furniture you have the valuables. interiors valuables inside 
this property. So at the end of the day, it's like crazy, huge sum. So, but why do you think that people actually do not take out an insurance policy? I have my thoughts, but I'm, I'm wondering why do you okay. think people don't go through the actual motions? Okay. okay for me first i think there's a disconnect between um the insurance companies and um the the public okay. you know first so and it i think it's a distrust people don't actually trust the them trust to issue. yeah it's a trust issue one people don't actually trust them sometimes because we know um quote and unquote doing business in nigeria you know so many <laughs> right. discrep uh, discrepancies fly yeah. things that normally in a center climb wouldn't um, be allowed to thrive because there are um, what policies and agencies that keep them in check. Here, yeah. some things fly. You get it's yeah. it, it end up being a game of um, um, you fighting some some big entity. Mm. But we know our justice system. We know, let's not even go into all of that. That's one. And then secondly, another reason why I think people don't actually bother to get insurance is um, um, some. It's I think it's a Nigerian thing. I've spoken it's to a, some it's people. A it's a thing mental also. thing in this country. Like yes. it's our mentality. Some people mm. think they can actually go through life, life without having yeah. accidents and I'm not or say, tragedies happen to them. Yeah, I and agree. I'm not saying that you know um, we should um, uh, uh, open up ourselves to say, oh yeah, uh, negativity. negativity no, it, it. it's just being safe. The harsh realities of, of life. Yeah. So take for example. Um, people who had their businesses vandalized during the um, protest. They, in a million years, they never would have fought. That's not an earthquake. That, that probably has never happened in 10, 20 years. They never True. had any brush up. Yeah, nobody moving. saw that coming. Um, yeah. Yeah, it started from some peaceful protest before mm -hmm. you got hijacked yeah. and, you know, properties, businesses got destroyed along the line. So that's just it. So it one, it's a distrust between the system, in the system, that's between the insurance company mm -hmm. and then the public. And then secondly, it's the Nigeria mentality. I also, I agree with you. I also think that going forward, it's very important that we begin to see it as a holistic process. So as okay. a person, when you're getting something of value, if you're investing your funds into getting a property right from the get go, go. you need to begin to factor in and allocate, allocate funds to insurance. That's the only way you will see it through to the end. Some people actually have it in mind. Oh yes, insurance, I'm going to do, do it. it. But after you've spent so much money, you know, getting a property, getting it fixed, leaving, you know, getting it habitable then you're like oh i'll do it i'll do it and it becomes a thing of procrastination so i think going forward as you begin to make your budgetary allocations True. we're towards getting your property fixed there has to be a budget for insurance, insurance. that you see through you get an insurance company involved True. from the get-go even True. when you're in the you. stages of getting your property i agree and with so you let's Makes break sense. it down 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 to the different kinds of um, insurances that people can acquire as okay. a homeowner if i have a rented apartment should I take out insurance? If I own property, should I take out insurance? What, what, what options are available to me? Okay. Um, um, from what I've um, studied, I know that um, as a homeowner, that if you rent a property, that I think that's a homeowner's insurance. Mm -hmm. And not just, and this is to say that not just um, people who buy property or outright can actually insure their things okay. or insure a property. Mm -hmm. So if I rent a property and then a furnish it, have my valuables in them, I can still go out to get, uh, I think it's called homeowner's insurance. Mm -hmm. And um, there's also another type for people who, you know, and you want, let me just say something. I think um, for people for people who take out homeowners insurance, um, it helps because if you have an issue, maybe if a um, fire outbreak or something, apart from your um, um, what's it called, the, your property that that um, that you're going to get replaced. Mm -hmm. Let's say that fire. Um, gets to some other person's property that is close to you. I think with a homeowner's insurance, home yeah, it, yeah, yeah, it covers even your, yeah, well. yeah, even your neighbor's properties too. Mm. You get so that's fine. And I think the other one is the um, property um, um, insurance mm -hmm. that's for um, 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 people who actually own this property. You know, yeah. taking out the property insurance on their particular property. Sure. You understand so just to put this in perspective say for instance i have a property okay i have a home and my home is valued at six million uh, all right and i take out so i pay a premium i pay an insurance premium which is usually a token some do as low as 0 0.25 percent yeah sure so 0 0.25 25 percent of the value of my home is twenty five thousand naira. Okay. So if I take out an insurance policy of ten million naira on my home, every year I get to pay twenty five thousand naira as my as, insurance yeah, premium. premium. 
Imagine if I start paying my insurance premium in November and something happens to my house in December. <laughs> Guys, you get you 10 get paid. million naira. True. The value of, of your, your home, pro- yeah. you get paid. True. Irrespective of the fact that you've, you've only just paid, paid just 25,000 naira. True. So that's just, just to put it in perspective why it is absolutely important that you actually take out a home insurance. insurance. Whether you're living in a rental apartment or whether you own the property yourself, whether you're a developer who has, of course, I'm sure, I am sure that developers who have tons of property, you, they know that they have no choice. They, they don't even actually take they don't, out an nobody, insurance. They don't think of that. For them, insurance is a whole, is, is a whole new level with paperwork issues with you know, government recalls this there's so much that can true. happen you true. know to true. you as a developer who has a string of properties, properties. so they take out a very common i'm sure as a complex you know insurance and policy that they have to put even them themselves. even them knowing that um they are open to so many risks exactly. they still tricked insurance with some form of um um, levity. Yeah, levity. They just, you know, people they don't really take put it into cognizance right. that okay, this is something that needs to get done. Mm-hmm. You get. So for me though, guys, irrespective of what, um, um, whether it's some business property you have or your residential property, mm-hmm. it's advisable that you get um, a property um, insurance on that property if you if you because this country so many things can happen anything right. can happen that's the word right. anything so, so, so actually what would you say as anything that i should look out for if as a beginner for instance i want to get an, an insurance policy for my home or my property what okay. are some things i should bear in mind or look out for when, when taking an insurance policy what would you say okay you if key? okay um if um you're going out to take an insurance property like i mentioned earlier there's a distrust between um in the system mm-hmm. you get so be um sure to if possible go with a lawyer go with some right. someone who understands insurance be sure to go through all their terms be sure that um um, whatever insur- insurance you get whatever um, um insurance you get and of forward um, whatever type of insurance you're getting be certain that if something happens they are going to cover those things that you have in mind mm. you get and also bear in mind that um the more your coverage the more your premium you Absolutely. get so if you are having a property and then you're covering uh, maybe the, everything, everything. In the house. The interior, be sure the that you the yeah gate, everything the, fences, the, yeah. the, the, the bathroom the toilet yeah you pay more more that's the truth but at least you have peace of mind, peace of mind. that you know if we if we whatever, of whatever happens whatever. and the extent of damage that you incur that it's taken it's going to be of. fixed you get it's also very important to note that the location of your property also determines yeah you know, how much you pay as your premium. premium for instance if you live in places where you know places are prone to erosion for instance if you live somewhere in the east you actually pay more True. for insurance because those kind of places they're, they're more like trouble spots True. so if you live in an area that's regarded as a trouble spot you actually pay more and also the value insurance. of your property matters exactly. yeah so the value so, of your property also has mm-hmm. um its effect on what your premium gets to be at the end of the day yeah you get so just bear that in mind too guys Again, so it's so. also very important to another thing to mention is the fact that certain insurance policies have flexibility so yeah. you, you it is the onus is now on you to okay. actually check and see what does this insurance policy Cover. guarantee me True. for instance you might take out an insurance policy that only covers damage to the property itself the okay. structural building how about the values or the valuables inside, inside. The building. does it cover to the current value of the property if i bought a property and it's 10 million naira now okay. and in five years it's now val- valued at 25 million, 25 naira. million is the insurance company going to pay me the current that value appreciation you know are they going to take up replacements for everything that actually is in that property and pay me current value i know some of them of some of them actually property. yeah some of them actually um take um cognizance of that appreciation but i think um it's not a general rule where they pay you the full appreciation value i think the cap or the maximum it's about 25 percent of that appreciation something like that so i think some of them take that into cognizance so that's why i said if you're starting out go with someone who understands get your insurance um um, broker to make to to actually spell out all these things for you so you know what you are doing come on guys i think it's time you guys should start getting insurance you know what people because because it's (laughs) I guess this is one of the reasons why people don't actually when they hear insurance they cringe kind of yeah. because insurance companies have the, there's this dark cloud yeah, they have around, coming yeah. around them in terms of always wanting to find a loophole oh, or finding yeah. a way to get away from actually paying, paying you what's your 
insurance accrued song uh, i'm a cover true i mean imagine you all these years for i've paid insurance for three years and something happens to me i'm hurting i'm in pain and they're looking for some loop, to find loopholes, loopholes. Not to actually not true. pay me that's know, a disconnect that's exactly. a distrust that's in a system that even these companies really have to go out to fix but irrespective of you guys please it is time for you to start um getting an insurance right. for things that are valuable to you guys just to impress upon you guys minds <laughs> how why it is very important for you to pay insurance if you look uh, <laughs> around the globe internationally oh you don't want to go there People <laughs> there are some celebrities who things. have taken this insurance in a, 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 a attire <laughs> like they're willing to insure the weirdest things that you True. wouldn't even imagine Think of. Do you I, want to run us through some of that i know i remember j-lo i mean i'm sure a lot of ladies remember this i think I, there's a music um, video she did where the gist came out that she insured her her behind i forget my love don't cost nothing <laughs> okay. they keep me as you All that was right. the video where she was flaunting the behind oh, okay. and i think at that point she had just gotten oh, okay. an insurance that's crazy though ridiculous <laughs> figures i actually wanted to you know take some of those stories i think you. uh this guy uh, um this footballer <laughs> david crazy. beckham mm. i think he got an insurance for his leg right and even um um what's it called um um c ronaldo um mm. christian ronaldo i think he also got an insurance the, the stuff player i think messi also did i'm not too sure but i know um sir yeah. nado did um was the other guy a huge insurance for her boobs her boobs yeah hmm, that's crazy man <laughs> <laughs> i mean <laughs> that's crazy man and then i remember there's this other um rock singer i'm trying to remember his name now that he got an insurance for his he actually calls it little winnie so really? like his body part oh. his lower body part like for real <laughs> He calls it little little winnie and he got it in short. I think that one is valid. Though. It's valid. He, uh, it's valid. Um, um, Anthony, it's valid. There, this there's there's cases there are cases of um, what's it called domestic violence this right. day. So if he gets into an altercation or something and loses that, that he's, way he's he's sure that he's, he's insured. But wait, what's going to happen? He's going to get replacement surgery. I don't I don't know. Ask <laughs> ask the insurance company. I don't oh know. <laughs> but but guys, I mean, if, if people actually take the time out to actually insure body parts, because I mean, but your body parts are valuable. Your life is valuable. So yeah, right. It's also very important that you you take out time to ensure nobody's saying that properties are i have the same value as life but True. to an extent if you're a key player in the industry and you're transacting huge um, you absolutely you, and you, you need even, to. even 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 your little bit you know how you work and sweat for it so and you don't have just, to be a key player you don't have to be exactly, some who, someone who transacts in billions to insure for me yeah. that's why it's a premium they calculate it um, um in percentage you get so um whether the house is 50 million would i would i 70 million yeah. you know they calculate your period yeah sure it's for sure. a fixed term so it could fixed be 10 period. to 20 years so, so you're not paying just in, yeah in just talk to an insurance company but make sure you're talking to because i know some of them are out to look for loop, loopholes right. to you know cut you off or something right. so do your research and i'm sure you guys can agree you um, heard this is not this is not the time to overlook insurance right, guys. guys so talk to some insurance company about it mm. guys. i guess that's it that's that's really the essence of what we want to talk about today yeah. thank you so much for joining us today on real talk we had fun we didn't mention this at the beginning but please follow our social yeah. media handles you would see them yeah the so of your screens follow us real talk on you know social media and tell us what you'd like us to talk yeah, leave about a comment like, if there's something guys we're open to talking about <laughs> literally anything Say, you know whether yeah, it sure. pertains to real estate or not you know what, so, what, what, so what go you ahead. Mean to yes to talk about any literally anything on the real talk yeah and this show you, this show it's for me i want to call it a bridge between real estate and life so right anything at it relates to real estate if there's anything you'd like for us to talk about you know just leave a comment send a message and be sure we're going to have a conversation about it guys so until next time it we is bye-bye from here <laughs>